Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Fragile Dreams, a game about the connection between people. Not even necessarily people. We had a dog message once. We are at a hotel. We are uh, tracing a giggling lady that Crow believes may or may not know anything about the silver-haired girl that completely derailed uh, the adventure that Grandpa set up for us. Yeah, the last time I realized I've never just went here, so maybe I should check in case there's like a fun box. There's an elevator shaft. Oh wait, that I'm allowed in, so it's not an elevator shaft. Oh, it's a bathroom again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone loves the bathroom. Let's check the other one too. That's what we're into now. Here we go. Bathroom Explorer. That's the name of my channel. Uh, rebranding re is still in effect though, so you're not gonna see it right now, but you know, it's, it's coming. Can I see something? Like, that's the glory about this game's system. The Firefly system is that, yeah, I, I kind of see a weird bottle there, but nah, it's fine. But except it's not true. Sometimes there are things that are not filled with butterflies or dragonflies or actual dragons that, you know, you still need to interact with. So, it's not... But it's a nice shortcut if you're in a little, like, bonus area. Anyways, I looked at every single door that I could find here. Found some fights, mostly. <laughs> Let's be real. I feel like I would want to take that bottle of fire extinguisher, but it might not be usable. And also, I might not know what that is <laughs> if I'm Seto. So, fair enough. All right. Yeah, so the giggling continues here, but there's also some snarling. Better leave now. Okay, there's a campfire just ahead. I mean, there's clearly a central area that might be interesting. But let's start with the obvious. Taking a set. <laughs> we went up three stores. Well, we went up two staircases. Yeah, I'd yeah, be getting sleepy. Well, I mean, for Seto, like, he did not just go through... Fancy a whole you here. day a splendid surprise. <laughs> doing nothing. Uh, well, I should see what you have, just in case. <sighs> I'm wondering if I should buy... Ooh, an actual bow and arrow. I have one more lunch. Well, if I'm going to be buying healing stuff, buy, like, real good things. Yeah, I'll buy one. Like, I'm currently got a suit. Once I use it, I can go back and equip that instead. I don't think there's anything I want. Maybe I should I sell my, to our next meeting. my hot sauce potion. Someone wondered if maybe it could be a permanent boost upgrade. The way I read it, it really felt like a temporary status. Like, more strong now strong. And that's just not something I'm excited about at all ever in video games ever. Like, but I don't want to sell it. Because we don't know. Like, we might end up at a fight down the road where, whoa, it's actually super hard. And then I will want to boost my stats. I'll do it later. I gotta go around and snoop around your place, alright? Then also the snarl. It's that dog. I slapped that dog. He faded. Alright, here's a long corridor. Oh. This is where you are. Is it? Oh, okay. Please, don't go any further. It's really dangerous. Who is that? Uh, I, Where are you? I was gonna say, okay, you convinced me and keep exploring down back. But I, I stepped over an invisible tripwire. Okay, there you go. All right, I'll... BRB! I'm so spooked! Oh no, it's so scary! I'm gonna be over here now. All right, what's in this door? All right, trash. Oh, this is like the mail room, maybe? Hard to tell. It's the nice window in Bird Song's room. Cool. It's my favorite. <laughs> There's a schedule. Still survived up to today. I wonder if it's randomized when you go in a room, like if it's going to be spooky, or if there's going to be a good thing. That's the elevator. Still not working. Me hitting at a door is not going to help anything. Green label over that door. Hey, we're on the roof. Whoa, check it out. We're up on the roof. It's daytime now. 
time goes by whenever it needs to. That's basically what it amounts to, and that's okay. Anything fun over here? There's a bench. <laughs> Cannot sit. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> You're not a cat. You're a small homing girl. You know what? That's okay. That can't be everyone. Uh-oh. Bird call. Birds love him. Hey, look at that. The moon's still there. The moon was a crescent while we were at night around the Ferris wheel. Now it's like almost full. I don't want to... The birds are really annoying. That tree is massive. Did it just like burst through the whole hotel? And it's still that thick? Like, wow, tree. You are impressive. Like, good for you. Good job. Good job being a tree. I mean it. It sounds sarcastic, because who would say that to a tree? But I absolutely mean it. What about here? Huh? This door, yeah, left ajar. There might be survivors in the hotel. Okay. You can't find a better reason to just not even take a peek? Or is that how we're going to leave this whole event and I wasn't supposed to tumble upon this Azaria? Because I'll believe you, it's just... It's just a little clumsy. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's okay, though. A little bit of clumsiness adds character. Assuming, you know, there's not too much of it. That's the important part. Oh, and that's a dead end, so can't go further than that. Alright, dog, you're back! You see? The dogs are fine, they respawn all the time. Uh, I'm inside this dog. Yeah, levels! I'm full of shinies. Alright, there is a door on the central thing, which I thought was going to be where I had to go. You know, the call of the lady, I was certain it'd be from within this space. Like, look at this space. Certainly looks like a boss arena, depending on the game you're playing. But there's just not a whole lot going. There's a really real possibility, though, that once I interact with Giggling Girl, uh, that this triggers some kind of something, and then suddenly, like, a whole lot more is happening. Stuck fast. But, uh, you know what? That's still good, though. I'm r a little familiar with the area, so I won't be too lost. I'll know what to expect. And like, if she's like, oh, but you can't find my left foot that I left inside the laundry room. I'll know what the laundry room might be, you know? It's, it's an advantage. Alright, going down the corridor. Where I was urged to not go because it's so scary. But, uh, girl is out of practice in emoting specific emotings. What's that, though? It's like, ma'am. Yeah. In the, like, right in the middle. It's really funny. Okay. Imagine having that picture in your hotel. Like, the mound? Yeah, sure, whatever. That has a bit of too much personality. There's something going on here. Anyways. This is where the voice comes from. Oh. You're a ghost all this time. I guess you are spooky. Yeah, you're just floating. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, what's your hat situation? That's what I immediately focused on. Whoop, well, there she goes. Oh, jeez, she's an evil mask now. Okay, that took a turn. Rawr, it's me, evil mask Joe. Whoa, uh, there we go. Pop, pop, pop. Mask enemies, they're just not very good at their job at being enemies. Okay, so I got... Good effort. You did it. <laughs> you just kind of... Face planted right on the ground, a true demonstration of strength. Had I ever seen one. Alright, well, run around. Ah, uh, good effort, buddy. Good. Ah! So mad. Uh, sometimes. Occasionally angry. I, I'm behind you! You're. You are bad at this. Wait, Crow had a mask summon too. Was Crow a ghost all this time? And. I just couldn't tell because he didn't take the time to be transparent or like float or they're cursed and I undo their curse and that does a good thing. Here's a key. Don't swallow it. Is that a dare? No, no, no. I just said that. Just oh. I don't know why. 
There's a key here. To room 301. Oh. Well, at least it's labeled. Yeah, yeah, I cannot go there. There's like interesting looking things, but it's not part of the map. 301. So third floor. First room. Yeah, that's kind of goes without saying. We are on the third floor because there's not a fourth. It'll go to the ceiling. That's reality. The door at the end there was not locked. It was uh, fast shut. Whoa. Slap. I'm sorry, dog. I, I, I need to. You're making noise. All right. And then you give me a mystery item, thus, you know, rewarding me. 301. Hey, look at that. Nicely labeled and everything. How dandy. No lions. <laughs> I thought I told you not to come oh, in. Oh, geez, that's her autopsy slices around her, isn't it? Like on her body? Maybe not. There's medical equipment here. That's her. I don't get it. Does this mean you're dead? Ah, uh, give me a break. Why is it that you're able to see me? Is that a date on her? Hmm. Well, well. I had no idea there was anyone left out there in the world. Persistent little guy, aren't you? Anyway, listen. My name is Sai. Hi, Sai. And you are? Look at that. My name's Koala Sito. on your on your Sito, arm. Huh? Where'd you get that? Man, everyone loves that thing. Grandpa gave it to me. Your grandfather? So he survived? How strange. Yeah. But I guess if he's already an old December man 6, now, 1966. a lot of time must have passed. Tell me, how's the old man doing? Still active? <clears throat> he's passed away. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't worry, I was just trying to do you a favor. Your body looks so cold. Moving around like she's swimming, it's kind of funny. Like, like threading water. Can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. You see, I'm looking for this girl I saw with silver hair. Have you seen her? Don't ask me. You want a girl? Find it for yourself. You're a guy, aren't you? I want. I, I don't understand why silver hair girl that went why all the way are you here, though. Me? Can you blame me? I'm bored out of my skull around here. I'd do anything for a good distraction. And besides, I know a lot of stuff. Maybe I could help you. Not to mention, I'm a sucker for cuties. Huh? Okay. Well. Whoa. What? But I'm pretty sure she's not here. Uh, I feel, so yeah, so, okay, we got ourselves a new frame, but more ghostly. All right, now that we go on the roof? Whoa, you're doing flips right on the camera, it's pretty fun. All right, dog, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, dog, but you give me mystery items. <laughs> kind of got a lot packed in now. All right, maybe now she'll be okay with me going in that door on the roof. That we're because okay, it's because she's sitting down. Her idol is to sit down on nothing, and like by the time I I I you know I'm not I didn't move or anything. So she idles, but then she's sitting. Just looks like she's kind of like driving her feet through my back. Whoa, she just kind of plopped up through me. That's fun. Well, yeah, why don't we look? Uh, maybe the shut fast door? Hey, birds. You guys are pretty good at hovering. Something ravens are known for. I don't want to do this, dog. But you're scared, alright? 
Is that really my excuse? Not even that scary anymore. Alright, what's your opinion about this place, Sai? Got any opinions? About this place? No? How about this door here? Can you go through? You're a ghost. Tell me what's in that. No? Okay, I'm not... I'm not sure what to do then. Hmm. Well, let's move around. I thought I explored everywhere, but... Not with a friend. Alright, let's go save. I got a lot of mystery items. I kind of want to unload if I can. Oh, look at that. She's actually here with me. But well, that's neat. That's cute. Hmm. hmm. Alright, here's some tuna. Oh. Alright, nothing, nothing beats good nutrition like old tuna. Fanta oh, it takes two, though. Oh, jeez. Okay, look. I'm very exciting about this tuna, but we gotta look at Dad's ring Listen here for a moment. Tonight. tonight, I feel there's so much I need to talk to you about. It's strange, isn't it? For all we know, I could be joining you as soon as tomorrow. Someone's dead. Today, okay. Okay. our son's getting married. His fiance is too good for the fool. She's got a big heart and a good head on her shoulders. Like father, like son, they say. Actually, she reminds me a little of you. Hey, that's what the like father, like son, they say, implies, uh, old man. They seem happy. Just like we were at their age. But even so, I really am an awful parent. I just can't accept it. I am razzing a little bit, but the voice actor for old man, though, is pretty good. Like, I, I'm feeling it. I bet you want to say I'm being silly. They're starting a whole new life. So much to look forward to. And yet, to have it be stolen away like this, there's no way I can accept it. To have it be stolen away like this. But I know... No matter what I think about it, I have to give them my blessing. After all, I'll be the only one at the ceremony to congratulate no, them. No, what is that? What are you saying here, actually? I know. I know it's wrong to think this way, but I just can't help. Are you listening up there? If you... If you were alive... Do you think you'd be able to smile and wish them well with a clear conscience? This is weird. So, clearly their marriage did not go well at all. And he's apprehensive about sending his son out into this wedding life. However, his relationship with his wife is still as such where he would, you know, pray to her. Like, talk to her uh, post-mortem. So what happened? <laughs> That's confusing. Um, okay, if I'm gonna suitcase anything, I feel like, uh, do I still need this? I mean, I might still need this. I'll just put it there for now. I'm pretty sure tuna is gonna be a better healing item than uh, lunch. So let's keep one tuna. I don't really feel the need to carry more than that. I might need to return to 301, so that's why. I'm keeping that for now. Gonna do the old save and bake. And, uh, yeah, we're saving there. And I'm gonna keep playing a little bit. Gonna look around, see if Psy reacts to anything. Because I thought I was pretty thorough, and I didn't find any survivors. But maybe she knows something I don't. She absolutely knows something I don't. <laughs> Can I go here, though, actually? To these doors? Well, I mean... I don't think I have. Okay, my exploration wasn't as... Yeah, strange red drinks! Drinks! I added a TH to that. There's a bedroom. Alright. Not 
very exciting, but hey, it's here. Even a room without anything in it will tell a story. How about the other door? So, yeah, so I wasn't as thorough as I thought. There's a dog here. Oh, sorry, buddy. But you are free. <laughs> you are free, XP. Oh, oh, a spooky lady here. Who's ready for some spooks? Alright, can I? I oh, Alright, alright, lady. It's very rude of you. Yeah, like, I need to, like, trigger her and go back like to safety but then the eye just kind of sits there and that's when you can like get some hits and except I got the mystery item I don't need to fight you actually all right good job lady you're annoying <laughs> you're not worth the fight all right well that was a oh we're in the butt uh, is that worth saving? Well, it's a mystery item. If I, I can clear up my inventory. Oh, look at that painting. I never noticed it before. Maybe I'll sit down. Can do like her and sit up. Hey, is this? Is it? Hey, a bow. Well, there you go. Free bow and arrow. Now I'd be the best choice against stronger enemy. Takes the same amount of space as a slingshot. Is significantly larger than a slingshot. Uh, like, it's just, it's too big. Like, I, I agree that it'd be a useful thing to have, but... It's just too large. I can't justify bringing it with me... Unless I know... That it's something that I will want to use. Just being, like, realistic here. Alright, there's a massive gap here. There's a figure over there, isn't there? That's new. Okay, here we go. What's going on here? Yeah. I won't let you pass here. One of these things. Oh, I should have known. Should have um, guessed. I'm looking for somebody. So can't you let me through? No. Uh -oh. I don't know you. <laughs> You're a stranger. I don't trust you. Did I miss that? Well, that was expired. Am I just bad? What a brat. <laughs> Maybe. She won't listen to anything oh, you no. say. no. There's a cat drawing. I had things to say. You trust me? What can I do to win you over? Hmm... I know. Will you bring me the star? The star. Huh? A star? Not a star, the star. I think she's talking about the one on the Christmas tree down at the station mall. <laughs> I seriously have to trek all the way back there. So you want me to bring you that star? Yes. <sighs> Why? Why? It's just to okay. go in that room. Wait, do right we? Here. Do we? Why? Why is room two oh one the most important thing in the world now? Guess what? There's okay. A to the oh. The roof oh. Okay. Pretty convenient. That huh? is incredibly convenient, Sai. Like you wouldn't believe. Still though, why? <laughs> that is such a huge detour. <laughs> like, really? All right. Like, you don't even, like, wh why do you, uh, the only reason why you want to go there, Seto, is because that girl is in the way. You know it's true. I'm not gonna save now. Let's make it to the underground mall again, and we can save from there. I don't need to fight that dog. That's not where I want to go, though. All right, well, the wrong button what happens. Is this what you're talking about? This door that's ajar? Alright. How does that lead to the mall? Like, there's no way you would know. Okay, is that gonna lead to the door that there's like a fissure in the hallway? 
No, this is the one that's hidden behind a massive tree. And there's room 304. Whoa, she does a flip. All right, there's gonna be meanies, but there's a mystery item, so it's all good. All right, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's hands. Hey, hands, it's been a while. I just can't be scared by those. Like, after you've, you've encountered them a few times, encountering them in day, daylight is like the opposite of spooky. There's a guitar. There's three to two. Are you not interested in guitar? This is gonna be the door with like the the hole in the way. Yeah, okay. All right. Still though, I insist that there's no way Seto would have known this from the roof. It's fine, whatever, it's video games. I'm being weird about it. That's okay. Hey, ghost here. It's I, oh, all right. Berm. Hey, we get to go in these doors we've been seeing. That's, that's exciting. Here we go. We call this a shortcut. I mean, this. So we could go to the... Uh, maybe you want to go to the base? Oh, that door is all is all hecked up. Yeah, you can see it's kind of like punched in. Punched into the door opening. Alright, that's the exit sign. I can recognize them by the color, mostly. <laughs> hey, we're out. So, that's my fireplace that I've used once. You can tell because it's on fire. So, yeah, I've seen this. Okay. Uh, is this going to lead, like, on the other side of that tree? I don't know. Like, have I been on this side of the hotel? Maybe not. Oh, this is where you're going to have me go. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been on this side. I remember seeing this sewage grate. Okay, got it. So this is gonna be like a whole different adventure down here. Like the subway or something? Look for the star! Oh, these shutters! Okay, I did not make the connection. All right, well, okay, yeah, we're here. All right, well, I'm going to beeline for uh, fire pit. Except if I forget where there's one, there's one right over there. Perfect. That'll be it for today. Yeah, so those hands are just, they're there. They're hands. I will check out hand. Good for you. Good for you, hands. Do I remember seeing a Christmas tree in this whole this place? Is so soothing. No. <laughs> hey, could this so, be... uh, there might be some running around here, but hey, here's a- ah, finally! Yes! Iron pipe! That is exciting. That will replace my sword. Oh, we got another torn picture story, well, though! When we spoke to Mao again, it was the day of our high school graduation. I got parts one and four, so there might be a bit of a gap. <laughs> I heard from our homeroom teacher that Mao was going to college in some far-off city. It was a college where he could really pursue his study of botany. I didn't want Riveting. to leave things as they were. After the ceremony, I searched the school and found Mao by the school garden. It had been so long since I saw him up close, and he was a lot taller than I remembered. His long, slender fingers were black with earth, and his hands looked weathered. The strap of his canvas shoulder bag had been loosened to its maximum to let his bag fall to his hips. Somehow, that was enough to make my heart That's, race. Oh, man. Never heard of that. Never heard of that kink, but hey, you know what? All I had to do was talk Good like for we you. used to, but my mind suddenly went blank. What did I sound like when we used to talk? Was my voice high? Low? How did I so, choose my So words? did they not talk to one another at all during parts two and was three? I maybe, with him? maybe they never happened. Cute? It's just a what was my timing a hole in I time. Smiled or got angry. I had no idea what to say. The graduates and students were laughing and crying together. They called out to each other. Their incessant flow of words echoed through the school halls, and reverberated around us. We'll always be friends. Take care. Good luck. Goodbye. Come back to visit. 
I listened closely to borrow some of their words, but none of them were what I wanted to say. Mal, come down here. That was all I could finally manage to say. After a quick look of confusion, Mal kneeled before me, eyes on mine. There was that How familiar scent. How short are you? smell of damp <laughs> earth. <laughs> Mal always smelled of earth. Long ago, I used to love napping beside him as he read. Shit, cat. It felt like I was lying in the middle of a grassy field. I finally felt like I was with my old Mal and was able to speak naturally. How's your research for the lantern blossoms going? Actually, my college has fully equipped labs. <laughs> So I think I'll finally be able to as soon as he starts to talk. He's just such a goober. <laughs> Genetic engineering is still a tricky field, so I probably won't be successful right away. I have more uh. than one things I want to test out, so I highly doubt that four years will be enough time. Some of this nerd. Once given the chance, Mao's eyes glistened and he rattled on like the old days. His voice was lower than I remembered. He was intense and full of confidence. But there was still a bit of that old, delicate Mal in him, too. I mean, if he's in Earth science, he's going to be spending a lot of time outside, actually. Like, if you want buff scientists, Earth scientist is, is where you want to go, really. Not even necessarily buff, but, like, fit, you know? My heart was filled with so many feelings. I thought I'd burst into tears. I hadn't even cried during the ceremony. How had I survived being apart from Mao all these years? Huh. How could I stand not hearing him? How could I breathe without taking in his scent? How do you get so entrenched into a person, especially one for whom you apparently haven't Why seen in a while? Why hadn't I tried to patch things up sooner? Hmm. And now, Mao was going far away. I would never be able to follow him with my legs. Okay. He knelt because she's in a wheelchair. Mal was like a towering oh, tree beside see, me. And it's sad because she wanted to dance. You know, she wanted to be a dancer in part one. And she's like paralyzed. Water. He offered me cozy shade, quenched my thirst with dew. Gave me fresh oxygen to breathe. He was a gentle, peaceful tree. Mel, we'll always be friends, right? Yeah. Take care where you're going. Yeah. Good luck. Like, there's all this, um, you know, this emotion in her voice. It's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> and. Come and visit me sometime. Yeah. I'm still oh, studying geez. photography. And I've even landed some gigs. There might have been a hiccup there in the recording or something. It's all good. It's okay. We're all gonna live. I clicked the shutter, blown away by the force and breath and energy of the athletes. As a hobby... I've begun shooting trees and flowers, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Whenever I capture the workings of life that flowers give off so powerfully, and yet can be so easy to miss if you're not careful, I swear I can smell Mal beside me. Though the year of his graduation came, Mal did not. Huh. Rumor had it he was staying uh, late at the lab. That tracks. He was so preoccupied, he'd probably forgotten all about me. I knew deep down in my heart, he never had any intention of keeping his promise to see me again. Interesting, because the text and the speech there is different. And it changes the message considerably. By that point, so which one is canon? had already started to make our way down our own separate paths. I had left my tree called Mal, and was already breathing on my own. I'd come to the realization that our dreams no longer fit on a one-page drawing, 
the way they used to. Oh, that's a fun Im not fun, but interesting image there, because that's true. Where are you going? I'm sure you come from some place I don't know. Going someplace I can't follow. If during your journey you happen to encounter a lantern blossom, I want you to take a moment. Stop and think about the botanist who created it. I'm sure it will have been a young man named Mal. I believe that someday he'll become the most amazing botanist ever. Man, all right. I got some handbook management. So yeah, I can make some room by, cause I don't want a staff weapon anyway. Am I going to need you? Not here. So I can stuff you too. Alright. I'm going to keep you as my backup weapon. That's, I meant to put you here. And we can put this on top. We give ourselves a big old square. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay. Uh, this video might have gone a bit long due to me not expecting a thorn story that went on for a little bit. But I mean, beyond that, hey, we're reusing environments, but maybe things... Well, we're going... I don't remember seeing a Christmas tree, so we're probably going to end up going at a place I haven't gone there yet anyways or something.